Hello and welcome to this video. This is an unusual video because you're probably used to me just creating tutorials in React or JavaScript, GraphQL, speaking into a microphone and just doing screencasts. But this is a little different. I'm going to be doing these smaller videos, giving you some quick tips. So this one's going to be about passing in arguments to a function of uh, passing in an object. Recently I've been passing in an object as opposed to just passing in arguments because I find even though an object is technically an argument, what I'm trying to say here is if you have a function that has four or more arguments, is it worth replacing those arguments, parameters in this case, with an object? Now I want to show you some examples. So I've got, well, one example here that is a strong contender to use an object has four parameters. We can pass in four arguments when we're using the function. So we have the first name, the last name, the age, the address. Now, where do the problems arise when we have four parameters? Well, what happens if you have an optional parameter? What happens if you want to remove a parameter and you've got it defined across the code base? Well, an object can help us out here. Also, my favorite one here is that with an object, you don't have to define what position you pass the arguments in. You can just pass an object in, to structure out the value, it doesn't really matter at what particular point or what particular place you pass in a value within an object, just to structure it out and let the code figure it out itself. Oh, so I figure it out itself, we're not there yet, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to say here that if you use an object, you have the advantage of passing in just a linear object, it doesn't matter what position you put the values in, as opposed to a function where if you have one, two, three, four, so you want to get rid of the address, for example, you know, GDPR's here, let's get rid of the address. Well, you're gonna have to either make that null, pass in null each time, or what you're gonna have to do is go pretty much through the code base and remove it. So, there's two different options here. Should we use a parameter? Should we use, well, should we use four, five, six parameters, or should we just use an object and pass it in at one time? Well, there's things to weigh up, right? So if you're using a regular function, passing in some regular arguments, four parameters, you can kind of see why maybe you can start looking at using an object. But if you're just doing some simple math, A plus B, two parameters, stay with the regular parameters on that function. Now, if you go over, say, four parameters, maybe it's time to start looking at potentially switching out to use an object. It's better to do this earlier than later within the code or else you can run into many many problems so that's just something to think about i thought it may be helpful i have started doing this a lot more since um using react react generally does this when you're using a functional component so you can just structure out the props that get passed in i find it very useful as opposed to just using a regular set of parameters in some scenarios but this goes for JavaScript, um, you'll see this even in many other languages, to be honest. So let me know your thoughts, hopefully you like this video, hopefully the example was nice and clear. I'm happy to answer any comments in the comment section below. Remember to do all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.